Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkus, and today's Fabric Chat. Good morning. Hello. It was the reveal. Was I was right. <laughs> You were right. <laughs> you know, it was funny because the reason that I kept thinking boy was because when she was first pregnant with Wyatt, it was the same pregnancy as when I was pregnant with Jordan. And then mm -hmm. when she was pregnant with Harper, it was the same as when I was pregnant with you. And then on well, this little girl right here, it's you have been... Gave like, me red for my money. <laughs> ...sick the whole time. And that's how I was the third night that old. Yeah. And that's why it's a boy. Because it's like totally different. So I yeah. kept thinking that. But um, but then uh, I did change my mind um, a couple days before I had changed. And the funny thing was... <laughs> do you know why I changed my mind? Mostly? Robert. <laughs> That boy cannot keep a secret. No. He did he try real hard. He tries so hard. He can't stand it that no. he knows the secret. So he keeps trying to like tease you, you know. And uh, the thing that did it for me was he teased. Do you know about the paint swatches? The paint swatches. <laughs> yeah. He only did boy swatches. <laughs> he te he sent me a a photo of blue paint swatches, and he says, "Is there one here that you like?" And I looked at it and I thought, "What?" And then he says, oh, sorry, wrong person. And yeah. then he texts again, forget you saw that. And I like thought, he'd be the one to Like he would accidentally. <laughs> I know, I know. And I thought, well, that's just too funny. <laughs> and then I thought, now I would do that, you know, the wrong one. But he, I mean, anyway, so I, yeah. I overthought it a little too long and thought, no, it's a girl. He just wants me to Dang, believe boy. that, yeah. So yes. anyway, so that was the main reason that I changed. And also, it is funny that you knew the whole time because I felt yeah. that way with, I mean, I felt like I knew. So um, that was also the deciding factors that you consistently thought it was a girl and yeah. I figured you were probably right. But, but yeah. anyway, so exciting. And um, I have to tell you before we talk about some of the other stuff, um, you kind of broke the internet a little bit. <laughs> Because normally we get, when we put out a video, we normally get somewhere between 50 to 60 comments. I mean, it might be more if we're asking kind of specific questions, but typically 50 to 60. Guess how many we got. And this has only been, it's it hasn't even been two days. It hasn't even been, it's been a day and a half. Because I don't know if you guys realize, we actually film Tuesday morning. So I can get it all done. So you can see it Wednesday morning. Yeah. And this went up Sunday night, so day and a half. Um, uh, any guesses? How many? 100? 168. Ooh. Mostly people, of course, saying, oh, congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. you know, super, super sweet. But lots and lots of name suggestions. Ooh, I have a little note thing started in my phone with names. I'm going to tell you a few of them. So, um, Haley, Heather, Hannah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whitney. Whitney. I, I think Whitney look, was cute. Winifred, you call me Winnie. Winifred. Oh, I love old I names. I love Winifred. I don't know if I can That's talk about Tracy Coleman. Old name. I love Winnie. old names. And Witty. Ah, uh, Witty! Ah! <laughs> it's Winifred. I mean, Whitney. Oh, I like that. Witty. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Acacia Jean is Diana Grant's. Um, let's see. Oh, guest a girl. Oh, I like this one. Paisley. Paisley, that's a good one. That's a really good name. In my life, I she could have her own letter. I know too many dogs that are named Paisley. Oh. But yeah, in my name of list, on my how phone, you have really good names that are either ruined or whatever because oh no, no, that's yeah, someone else's or so name. and so's. Yeah, I do have a list of names that are started on my phone, and it's not they're not all H's. Mm -hmm. Just because I worry about Harper, think because she thinks that if she draws the letter H, that says Harper. Right. I add the rest of her letters. Mom, that's not how you spell my name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So H. <laughs> so I think I think we you might I don't think you can to. have another H. Yeah. Yeah. I think she yeah. But she's still excited. We were talking um the other day about we were eating something or whatever and Harper had asked, Well, can the baby have this? And I said, Well not yet. I said, For a long time the baby'll just have milk and 
maybe some water later and we'll slowly get into hard food i think we're eating like macaroni or something and oh okay um she's like i'm excited it's a girl i'm like well good i'm glad you are and i asked why i said why are you better now are you happy it's a girl he's like well I'm happy it's a girl, but I'm mad that Harper's going to play with her more. And I said, well, why do you think she's going to play with her more? Well, she's a girl. I said, yeah, but look at Harper. Harper's a girl, and she only plays with you. And he's like, yeah, but that's Harper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, your yeah. sister will be the same way. You'll be the cool kid. I said, there will be well, things that they play with each other, but they're not going to leave you out. No. Because I said, you're the one that's going to tow them on in a wagon or play water balloons with them let them shoot you with a water gun so i said you're still be the cool one they're not just gonna all of a sudden you know why it's up because we've got girls now right so I well i think what they're worried about is what he's worried about is because he and harper are so close yeah i think so that's he doesn't harper want harper them. to have a different favorite favorite yeah. sibling so if it's two girls well i mean i yeah. think it's not just that the baby will possibly prefer Harper but if Harper prefers the, the baby, baby yeah I think that will upset him because they are yeah. absolutely close peanut butter and, and jelly and I don't think that's ever I mean I they're it's not going to be any different right but I can understand why he thinks in that. a five-year-old like, brain yeah yeah I mean it's like even us you know as parents oh I hope I love this one as much as I love you know <laughs> yeah you know you know that's not a real thing but you still think it. it's like how could I possibly love right. anyone as and much? a five-year-old and how do I share do Harper exactly I don't exactly. want to share Harper yeah. yeah yeah so that's what I think yeah. it is and I think that they'll all be good and I think so too and I think they don't realize that a baby doesn't come out like ready to rumble <laughs> <laughs> they don't realize there's like a period of time where the baby only sleeps and it's smells not bad very and wants much mom. Fun. Yeah. And it takes a while before the baby even starts to walk. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think they realize it's just not like boom and playtime. Right. So right. nobody watches those <laughs> movies where this no. is what's happening. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's two minutes of the movie and then all of a sudden the baby's, you know, marsh roasted marshmallows. So yeah. Yeah. I think it's also fun that you guys got to see how they are the same size that everybody thinks they're twins mm -hmm. everybody asks oh you have twins oh he's actually a year and a half older oh he's little yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah little cutie they're pretty cute they're so adorable i'm gonna finish telling you some of these names really fast all right willow willow i like willow i saw that a couple and times. willa mm -hmm. hannah and hallie um and then someone said, I think the gentleman chose the perfect name, Lily. Um, that is Great Uncle Tom. That's Great Uncle Thomas. That is Tom. And then Paulina, the redhead, mm -hmm. that is Robert's mom. That's yes. the, where the, all the red hair comes from. Well, they got a double dose because uh, Brian's mom, Pa's mom, uh, Lucille Ball red hair. And so that's where your red hair mm -hmm. and Jordan's red hair came from. So, yeah, lots of redheads. Um, poor Wyatt. Not the reaction anyone expected. This is from Mary and Michael. I know. But he's going to be the best big brother. They he were is. all so tired, though. So we swapped babies. So Wyatt went to go spend the night at Orion's house, and Aurora came to our house. She was already tired. Um, but I was excited for Harper, because I felt like Harper was going to give me the Wyatt reaction. Right. But it made me feel bad, yeah, that he's like, oh, well, now I don't get... But it makes sense, the whole... Share yeah. a Harper bit. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Harmony. Harmony. Mm -hmm. Amelia. This is, oddly, this is the second vote for Amelia. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why that is. Uh -huh. It's funny. All of these. Uh, and then uh, Liz has a good, pick a name that has a good nickname, not something that can be I, I agree. We have, we have always worried about that. And I here's agree. another Willow. Willow so far has like four votes. Mm -hmm. Lots of Willow. I like that. I like it. I like mm -hmm. that great big Willow tree in the backyard that everybody loves playing on. Here's I, a funny thing They about get themselves that. in trouble being Tarzan. Super funny thing. I know because Brian, Pa, um, was always super picky because it was a super old willow tree. I don't know how long that tree, tree has been there. She's humongous. And her um, the branches all come down and they'll touch the grass. She's like Pocahontas. She, yeah, style. grandmother willow. Yeah, yeah. Yes. beautiful tree. Well, Brian likes a very well manicured lawn. So he would reach up as at far his as he could height reach. 
and he would cut those branches off. And I would always say, let them grow, let them grow. Just we just wait, just wait, just wait. Because they're fun to hide behind, yeah. fun to play Tarzan on. And it always bothered me that he insisted that it have this nice little haircut because I, I just didn't like it. And I love it. Right. That they let it grow, let it grow and it's mm -hmm. dangling. And that's where all those kids were playing on Sunday yeah. was swinging it on that willow tree, which is how mm -hmm. they should be playing. Yeah. So, so yeah, he'll be, so he cuts Willow every once in a name. while, but she grows really healthy and they like to run she through She is a beautiful tree. Yeah. She's a beautiful tree. And then Diane Long Henry, my um, yes. hair uh, friend, um, asked now who is older, Harper or Wyatt? Oh, uh, Wyatt is mm -hmm. older. He is yeah. a year and a half older, mm -hmm. which was made us think when the whole, you know, Wyatt's um, on his second day of school. Harper cried again because she wasn't with her brother. Um, super sad, super sweet, yeah, super poor honey. But we were thinking, um, she's two years behind him in school because yeah, our which isn't gonna be right. She needs to go to school next year. She's oh. so smart, she is so smart, and it's because of the whole birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to November be November birthday, yeah, she has November birth, and you have to turn five in you know by August something. Um, well, too dang bad, so yeah. So I don't know who I need to ask if they can test because she is super smart. Yeah. She can count to like 15 mm -hmm. um, and then we jump up a little bit to get to 20. She knows a lot of her letters. Yeah. Her alphabet's pretty rock on except until we get, that's like the last like six. She knows X, Y, Z, but it's somewhere in there that she jumbles up every once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, because she does everything with Wyatt. Yeah. So when Wyatt's learning something, well, by golly, she spends it more too. time in the five-year-old class yeah. than in her class because she wants to be with Wyatt. So she does stuff there. Yeah, yeah. She should be tested. She shouldn't be held back. I think because I think that super smart kids get really bored in school and then they become right. problem children. Right. You know, find other ways to. And for and I know a lot of people don't start kindergarten maybe until maybe a whole even if they turned five they might wait until the next following school year for maturity. But I Not don't think she lacks maturity. New. Yeah. <laughs> so new. <laughs> you know, or confidence. Yeah. Or... She may lack a little humility, but that's probably about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so that's the one thing you were thinking about school things. Oh man, she's two years behind. So. We'll see. Mm. And then even if it turns out in like, you know, first or second grade, she we realized maybe she wasn't as ready as we thought. I'm okay holding her back at that age because mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine holding her back when she's 11, 12 and people realize, well, why are you, why are you redoing, you know, seventh grade or whatever? But right. I don't, I don't think that's a problem. Right. But yeah. Why it is older. Cutie. You little tiny little munchkin. Yes. They were talking about the um, paint board, and that is what you're going to do with that. I the put paint her name. Is put her name. Yeah. On that. And um, Kim was suggesting also um, Harper and Wyatt's handprints. Oh, cute. On it might be kind of fun. Um, for an H name, we have a couple other. Uh, we have a Hazel. Oh, Hazel. Hayden. You had that on your uh -huh. list. And Harley. Harley. Um, everybody is liking Lily. Lots and lots mm -hmm. of comments about. There's Lily. a name on my list that I don't remember what I put, but I thought the middle name Lily would be really good. Yeah. So why Tom was thinking Lily is because we have a Rose, you know, Eliza Rose. Right, right. But everybody calls her Rose. Right. Um, at least in the family. Yeah. Um, we call her Rose. So it's like, well, we need another flower. And didn't she out. for like a little while, for like a couple months, she would like change her name and we were only supposed she, to call her Rose? No, she didn't want to be called Rose. Oh, didn't want to be called Rose. She only wanted to be right, called Eliza. Because... Robert's dad calls her. Yeah, always Rose. calls her Rose. So I don't know if it was like a school thing or what. And so we all really tried. We all failed miserably. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but we told her, so just don't tell people your middle name. Don't yeah. say I'm Eliza Rose. And tell mom, say, hey, when you introduce me to your friends or whatever, call me just Eliza or whatever. Mm -hmm. I said, I can understand that if, you know, you know, if you're getting bullied or whatever because you have a flower name or whatever. I said, just tell people, no, my name's Eliza. Yeah. My second name is Rose and that's only for Papa. Right, right. And right, you know, if you need to take Papa for show and tell, they'll be afraid. Right. So yeah. That was only what, maybe a month? Maybe. Yeah, it was It was short lived. But I think she realized we couldn't help it. And it wasn't because we were being mean. Right. It just because it's always been, you know, Eliza Rose and Rose is her endearing name. Right. If she's in trouble, it's right. Eliza Rose, right? Right. And she knows she's better book it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 
All right, well, I'm going to let you kind of go through theirs because, oh, I think I only made it, I don't think I even made it halfway, but there's lots and lots of, um, and it's Good. funny that there's a lot of repeat, um, a lot of Lily, a lot of Willow, a lot of, mm -hmm. um, and lots of congratulations and fun comments. So it was kind of nice. We, um, we, I think it did go up just a tiny bit early because uh, I think we said 8.30 and we realized that that was super, super late and I think it went up at like 7.30. So okay. it did go up a tiny bit early, but um, but anyway. And then let's see, what else? We um, Did you put up the um, the block of the month? That... Um, it can, it'll be up to, um, it went up yesterday. Okay. So Tuesday. Tuesday. It was eight. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, um, what that is, is the Westport block of the month. So last yeah. month we did the make sure you get your pattern, pick out your fabrics, buy your kit, whatever you wanted to do. And then um, this month, so yesterday you would have seen block one, how to construct block one. And then in a couple weeks you're going to see how to construct block two. Um, you'll get two blocks two, a month. Oh, two blocks a month. Okay. Yeah. We're hoping at roughly two weeks apart to because you're going to have to make, if you're making the smaller size, the twin size, you'll make two blocks each time. So block one, you'll have two of those blocks um, and so on. If you're doing the king size, you'll make three. So we're hoping if you need some extra time to get those two or three blocks done each video, um, you have plenty of time before you have to get into block number two or so on and so forth. Because yeah. there are 12 different blocks. And we've been, we worked pretty hard getting some videos done mm -hmm. last week. And um, it's hard figuring out my new schedule, oh, new, new schedule, you know, new, new schedule. Because <laughs> um, school starts at 740, which is like wicked early. I remember at our house, we didn't have to leave our house until 730 to get to school. They would have like 10 it's minutes funny of that social they bumped time. bumped it up so much. Gosh, I feel so bad for why he was so tired. And we feed him before we go. Um, they are in our area doing free school lunches, but I feel like. Um, the kids who really need it. I know there's a lot of kids that don't eat unless they go That's to school. A long line. Yeah, and it's a long line. So it's like, well, let me just fill you up with oatmeal or cereal so you're at least full. You know, if you get hungry, I don't care if you get hungry, you know, do a school lunch that doesn't matter to me. But at least so he's there present and ready to go. Because, yeah, at 740, they crack open a book and do something cool. Gosh, that's early. Right? I, that's like awful for a little five year old. Where did I hear this or read this or whatever that um, um, they were talking about school and that school would be so much more successful if it was almost like a real job where you got there at, you know, 830 mm -hmm. and you had um, a, a mid morning break, a long lunch, um, a mid afternoon break mm -hmm. and you did it until five because then what you could do is um, you do all of your homework in school you don't mm -hmm. have homework at home and I and I'm not a teacher so I don't know I mean I think it makes sense that you do homework at home because that you know prepares you for college but it is kind of difficult because then you don't have any family time and if yeah. you're doing sports and and you have chores to do. If you live on a working a farm, kid. yeah, if you're Dairy. a country kid, oh, Lord. You know, and it does make sense to me that at least, you know, maybe, yeah, in, I just... mean, if, if it could be kind of a nine to five, get all your extra stuff done, mm -hmm. have like a study period so that home is home mm -hmm. and play is play and sports are sports yeah. and you don't have to worry about getting I mean I don't know I wonder about some of the you guys were pretty good about getting your homework done but it's because we were like yeah on it on it and mom yeah. had her spaghetti spoon ready and primed <laughs> so yeah so I don't know yeah. you know they changed it and after we had graduated they had changed it because of more of like bus efficiency because if the buses oh. only like but that's what happened with the you know you know a 30 minutes earlier I guess is because it running at three o'clock apparently was a hard time I don't know for some reason I feel like I remember it was a bus efficiency thing mm -hmm. that they wanted to start early and kind of get out of school early but yeah it's 7 40 to 2 40 um he gets three recesses which he enjoys those but yeah for our kindergarten we wake up at um 10 minutes to six Gosh. we get all the sleepy goodness go potty he picks out his clothes the night before so we know he knows what to get dressed in we um, whine over our oatmeal or cereal just a little bit. Then we get Miss Cranky Pot out of bed. Um, and it's, <laughs> sh, poor honey. Uh, she's not feeling it. Um, 
And then she gets a snack or she can eat. Daycare feeds her so she can, I let her do whatever she wants to do because she's going to eat no matter what. Um, and, then, and I yeah. suppose after you're in the routine of going to bed early. Yeah, because this is only the so second hard. day that he's actually gotten up this early. Um, we didn't practice Labor Day because we were all day Sunday. Um, we were canning peaches and stuff at my house with everybody. So mm -hmm. we were, all of us were super dog tired. My feet were swollen. I was so sore. So, <laughs> so all of that. So we just slept. But they, and even the kids are super tired. I don't think mm -hmm. Harper did that much activity. She'd get a little bored sitting, just playing with her stuffed animals. Oh, I'm gonna go outside. She'd play with her chalk, sidewalk chalk for like five minutes. Okay, I'm done outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you want to do? I think I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> so tired. I'm gonna cuddle with the cat. So tired. So yeah. So I don't know. I just. That's crazy. And we do, kindergarten is uh, every day, Monday through Friday. That's the other thing um, that I think is weird. We used to have half day kindergarten, either yeah, morning or anymore. afternoon. And even preschool, when we were looking into preschools, um, they are either two days a week or three days a week. And you get a morning session or an afternoon session. So even preschool doesn't prep you for waking up at the crack of dawn. Because mm -mm. morning session starts at like 9 o'clock. You go for like two or three hours and you switch at lunch, essentially. So yeah, I don't know. I wonder how other communities do it. I don't know. It just seems it's like changed so super much. super early. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's my kid going into kindergarten. There might be other parents who are on like their fourth kid going to school. And yes. you didn't, <laughs> and you didn't like, you know, you didn't tear up. Not today. Did the you? first day we did. Harper and I both did. So we walked him into school, walked him into his classroom and uh, Harper realized we had to say goodbye at he, she couldn't like go into class with him. So she started crying there and every created this ripple effect as you're walking back through the hallway. All these ones. Oh my god, me too, me too. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it, but now sisters cry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so Harper's oh, all no. this mama effect all the way yeah. through. Yeah, she was super upset. But and even this morning she was upset. I was okay. I still think you need to take Harper first. You might have to try that. Yes. Then Wyatt and then pick up Wyatt and then go get Harper because Harper cannot deal with letting him no. go. Because this morning she was fine with oh yeah, Wyatt goes first so I can go last or whatever. And she was fine with that, but no. Until it really happens. Until it really happened. Lordy. Poor honey. Poor little girl. Fine. Pretty soon she'll have well, not for a couple months, she won't have a baby to keep her company. No, she always have to. I know. Mm. Rough life. Rough life. Yeah. Well, I think it's funny. Uh, I was looking up the, um, uh, what day to celebrate today. Oh, yes. And I thought it was interesting that today is two different things. It is not only National Biscuits and Gravy Day. Ooh. It is also National Waffles Day. Well, you can't have those together. You can't have those together. And so then um, I I looked it up to see... Oh, wait. Wait, did I get that wrong? I might have gotten that wrong. Hold the phone one second. <laughs> Hold the phone one second. That's not, that's not right. That's probably Hold our on. family's favorite, most requested breakfast. It's week. It's biscuits and I have it week. Wait, wait, wait. I have it wrong. No, no, no. No. It, yeah. No, I do have it wrong. Today... Okay, scratch all that I said. <laughs> It's actually <laughs> National Acorn Squash Day. Ooh. And too much brown sugar and butter and I know, right? Call and it, it seems day. it seems early for acorn squash, at least out here, right? Yeah. I mean I have babies, but I don't have any I can pick yet. Yeah, it seems a little early for I don't over know. here. But um so it's National Acorn Squash Day and it's National Beer Lovers Day. Hmm. And it's um also national um Salami day. Ew. Not a fan. No, thanks. And so it was funny. I thought, well, you know, that wasn't anything super fun. And so I decided to look up. They also have national weeks. So I'm sorry. That's what it was. I need to look at my notes it's a little like bit. breakfast week. Yeah. It's national biscuits and gravy week. Mm. Okay. Now, first of all, a whole week to celebrate biscuits and gravy. A whole lot gravy. of cholesterol. <laughs> and also, I think, <laughs> and I think, you can't make it like multiple ways, right? I mean, no. you only make Southern biscuits. Thank you, Jan, for a telling good us the biscuit. secret. We now know how to only make Southern biscuits. A sausage gravy. Sausage gravy. You don't do any other weird, no weirdness. 
it has to be sausage gravy. Yeah. So it's only one way to make it. You don't make it any you other do way. One, so don't someone, put an egg on it. Don't do anything weird. Don't add oh, any peppers yeah. to your gravy. Don't do anything silly. So it's National Biscuits huh. and Gravy Week. But here's the other funny thing. It is also, that's what I was saying earlier and I got it wrong, it is National Waffles Week. Now that makes sense to me because I feel like I can have seven different types of waffles. Yeah. With I can have cream, waffles. Fruit. Mm -hmm. With fruit Syrup. and cream, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have to be in the mood for that. Or, um, old I'm not... Old-fashioned butter and syrup. Old-fashioned or blueberry waffles. Mm -hmm. um, now, there's this other thing. Do you know what a chaffle is? Chaffle, so chocolate waffle? No. Cheese. I know, I know, I know, oh. I know. Hold, hold the I phone. Mean, I'm, no, I'm, I know. Not, not, not a cheese. biscuit. No. What it is, it's this, it's this thing. There's this gal on, I think she's either on YouTube or Instagram or something, and she's lost over 300 pounds, and it's all this being very, very careful about what she eats. It's primarily a keto diet, so she does mm -hmm. um, egg whites, cheese, you proteins know, fats, proteins, yeah. and yeah. Anyway, she makes this thing that she calls a chaffle. So she takes her waffle iron, and let me hold the phone first to say, we've eaten these holy bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so good so good our problem though is we're eating them as a snack and i think that that is mm, counterproductive because probably. i think it's supposed to be the meal a meal but we just really really like them so what you do is you take your waffle yeah. iron and you spray it the way you normally do and then you put down cheese grated cheese whatever you want and i kind of like that mixed i think they call it the mexican blend or something oh sure it's like, like three sizes of cheese yes yeah. uh -huh. so you you so your waffle iron is hot and you've sprayed it just like normal you put the cheese down and then you put down this egg mixture so again she used egg whites but put the little yolk in there might as well yeah we you whip up the, <laughs> almost like you're gonna make a we have enough chicken slaying eggs at the moment that we got <laughs> you enough. need to know how to make this yes. right yes right. please right <laughs> so you take the so you take your egg and it's almost like you're gonna do an omelet so you whip up your egg mm -hmm. stir it up and then you can add Paul likes um, peppers and sure. a little bit of onion in his. I don't mind like some finely chopped mushrooms and a few peppers, but you also can put nothing in it if mm -hmm. you want. So you've whipped up your egg and then you put your egg on top of the cheese and then you put more cheese. Mm. So it's a little cheese, cheese, egg, egg in the middle. Yeah. Close your waffle iron. Until it beeps. Uh, until it beeps, really the steam has to stop is the key oh, okay. to it because it will stick. So don't lift it up too early. You really want it to be crunchy, crispy. Mm -hmm. So you know those little, little cheese the little chip. crease, bit, the cheese bits like on the edge uh -huh. of like a casserole. The best bit, part of the it. The best part. It's that. <gasps> Oh. It's that with egg in the middle. So then you open up your, and then you kind of have to use two forks to lift sure. it out and um, put it like on a paper towel for a minute because when it first comes out, it's kind of greasy. It's kind of, yeah, because your cheese is greasy and it's also, um, it would be the texture of like an omelet, which oh, you sure. don't want, right? So you put it on your paper towel and you let it dry, mm -hmm. which is just perfect because then it's cooled off just enough that you pick it up like a cookie. <sighs> and it's called a chaffle. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm on board. So good. It's yeah. so good. So since it's National Waffle Week, yeah, we're gonna have to try. Have a chaffle. They're good. They're super, super good. And again, I we need to be smarter and just make it. You know, like instead of a grilled cheese sandwich, <laughs> <laughs> crumble on top of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Salad. we used to have popcorn for a snack. Instead, now Pa's going, where's that little, where's that little egg thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it's considered a snack. <laughs> so, mm, counterproductive. But anyway, so it is National Biscuits and Gravy Week. It is National Waffle Week. And so then I had to look it up. It's actually Better Breakfast Month. Oh, well, that's a good thing. I that's think a what, lot of people yeah. skim on to breakfast. School. Yeah. And it's important to eat something, a banana, a yogurt. A, yeah. Not just a cup of coffee. Have, I don't know. Have breakfast. I know. Have breakfast. And mm -hmm. it's this awareness that to think about having a better breakfast. And that's why we have two. Now, it's funny that if we're supposed to be eating better, and what are the first two <laughs> cheese and eggs? <laughs> Lots of white gravy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to gravy week. Oh. Um, 
it's filling. Like, it's your body learning. Yeah. After right. you wake up. Yeah. But. I think it's funny. So yeah. I'm curious, because I know there's, people are super divided. Like, we do, we'll do breakfast for dinner. Oh, yeah. You know, for when it's dinner time, we might do bits of gravy or a waffle or, or whatever, pancakes. But I know there's some people that just know. I cannot do breakfast food really? for dinner. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do dinner food for breakfast. Definitely. I don't think I could swap I'm not going to eat a burger. No, I'm not going to eat a burger for breakfast or a leftover burger. Or, or a leftover a pizza. Dog. No. Um, but... I wonder what do you Yeah, mean? yeah, let us know if you're the people that breakfast won't for dinner eat. fans or breakfast you're not breakfast for dinner. And you know why breakfast for dinner is really really good is if you typically don't eat. I mean, we don't eat pancakes unless the kids come over and spend the night. That's right. Or waffles or mm -hmm. you know, we're I'm not going to make breakfast. Uh, certainly not during the week. And even on the weekend, we don't. And like I said, unless the kids are over. Right. And so that's why I mean, the only way that Pa's gonna get bacon and eggs and hash browns is for dinner. He needs a baby. Or yeah. Yeah. Or it's, yeah. <laughs> a baby coming over. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So yeah, that's probably why. So yeah, let us know. Yeah. Because breakfast for dinner is super good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, oh, and you know, the other funny thing too, talking about that chaffle, I, I took a picture because I was gonna do like a little post of it, but then I got all crazy. Uh, did you notice I brought soup for us for lunch? Yes. So what I did is the um, the garden, I'm getting these great big huge tomatoes now. Oh, and finally. It took so late. It takes forever. Like, you have a small window left. I know. Because it was chilly this morning. It was like 50. I know. That's pretty a cool little, for us. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to get September. super hot, but. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I have these great big huge tomatoes. So what I did was I went in and I was thinking at first that I was gonna make, maybe make spaghetti for dinner. So I took um, these big huge tomatoes and I put them in the roasting pot mm -hmm. and I put in, I had a whole bunch of peppers that I put in there. And then I put in a bunch of, I probably a whole head of garlic that I put in there. And then I pulled off of the herb garden, basil, oregano, and some rosemary, threw that in there, and then I roasted it. Well, I put it in the in the uh, crock, the the Dutch oven, put it in the oven, and then I was out still weeding and doing things, and I'd kind of forgotten about it. It's like, oh no. oh no! So I went in there real fast, and everything was just mushed, and well, I thought, well, that's probably okay. You got yourself some sauce now. Well, so then I thought I would use the immersion blender, mm -hmm. so I started blending it up. And then I added just a tiny little bit of cream to it, blended it up, and I tasted it. Best tomato soup I've ever mm -hmm. made in my life. So it was just pe uh, just those things. Peppers, spices, I mean herbs. Peppers, herbs, and tomatoes, and garlic. And that's all it was. But here's where I totally messed up. Did you catch it when I told you my steps? I didn't pull out, You didn't like, pull out your rosemary stem? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pull just one of them. I didn't pull out the rosemary stem. I didn't pull, and I think that the peels from. Um, I don't think you even notice that the peels from the tomato are in uh -huh. there or anything else is in there. That didn't. But the there's some little little sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little sticks in there. So you know, I was tasting. It's like, gosh, this is really, really good. And then it's like, what's mm -hmm. that? <laughs> and so. <laughs> Pocket mini he tastes he's oh that's really good. Wait, what is that? <laughs> I said, well it's a little earthy. Yeah. But no it's waste. Easy. This was a no waste. And then he says, Well, if you put crackers in it, maybe you wouldn't. Oh, know there this. you go. So anyway, so you I need brought it for Yeah. Oh, some press for lunch today. It was really, really good. But I love this time of year when you have all of that extra produce, you know, and so whether you're be creative. canning things or I just don't want to can anymore. I'm not mm -hmm. a can or I'm just going to eat it or, yeah. you know, and I don't mind it. Um, I've kind of, it's kind of been kind of, this is the first time I've done it at, you know, your house. Um, it was a huge load of them though, but, um, I don't mind it. It's kind of fun, you know, but it's I don't usually do of accomplishment when it you does. look at yourselves and say, look at all this. I made that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So it's pretty it's really nice. So we have our peaches and get. We just don't eat enough, and I don't have enough storage to store it. Right, and for me, I've got kids who, you know, think it's the bee's knees. Right, right. So right. I think that's what is different. Yeah. If you don't have the people who are going to just mow down an entire quart jar of peaches, yeah. 
you're just going to waste it anyways. Right. You're going to empty that can, you're going to empty that jar, right. and then, you know, you're going to realize it's in the back of the fridge too late. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, just interesting. It's also, um, so I said that this was um, uh, better breakfast month. It's also honey month. Honey month. Oh. And piano and national piano month. It's also National Self-Improvement Month and National Self-Care Awareness. There's a lot of things to be working on. So many <laughs> things. So many things. Um, there was, and I think, uh, again, I don't remember. I sit and I read stuff. That, I mean, I don't, we don't get the newspaper, haven't for forever, but, you know, the little news break. Do you get that on your phone? Every so it's once all in a local while. news, mm -hmm. and so it, you know, covers all the local stuff. And mm -hmm. then there's usually other little fun little articles, and you kind of pick and choose which ones you want to read. And um, I know it was one of those, and it was talking about, um, I had already heard that it was um, um, self-awareness um, month or whatever. And the advice was that every day for a week, Wait, every day. Yeah, for one week, for one week's time, every single day, concentrate on saying, thinking, nothing negative. Turn every single event, every single occurrence, every interaction into something positive. And, and it was kind of funny because right after I read that, you know, I thought, oh, well, that, how hard would that be? Right? It doesn't right. seem like, I mean, it's like, I can be positive. I feel like I'm positive all the time. Uh -huh. And I don't feel like that really would be very difficult. So I thought, well, yeah. It just it does make you be aware though. If you're thinking about oh I always have to be positive, you realize, oh wait, that wasn't very positive. Exactly. No. Well what happened was I immediately so I finished up whatever and I walked outside for something. I don't remember what I was going outside for, and as I walked outside, I banged my knee on the door because Lil Lizzie, you know pushes to get out She's before first. me yeah and so she banged me into the door frame and i immediately oh, and i thought no i thought oh i can turn that at least i didn't break anything boom i didn't break a bone I, she didn't break my leg again <laughs> being all pushy and then something else happened and there was something else so there's a bunch of things where your immediate thought you know and it takes a little bit to think about that so anyway. that's a good thing to try I know I know so I started doing it and I realized that even if you are a positive person there's negative bits in there there's little things where it's like oh the dishes it's like oh at least I did the dishes yesterday and I don't have two days worth of yes. dishes yes. you know so there's it's funny to think about things and pretty soon then I found myself going okay would you just shut up now now I'm getting like no at least I'm really taking it seriously and I'm working on being more positive. <laughs> Actually trying to shut up her other personality back there. <laughs> I was irritating myself. I know. Uh, I know, but anyway, so kind of fun. All right. I suppose I think we've chatted for a very long time. We had to catch up on all of the kids stuff. So uh, we probably won't be quite so chatty tonight when we're doing box opening. And good, good thing, because there's a million boxes. There's back a there. lot back there. You're going to have to try know. to figure out how to choose. Yeah, sort it through. I don't know if opening. it's a lot or if it's big collections or, but there's gargantuan boxes. Of them. Yeah. And a whole big stack of them. So, but to make positive, it's <laughs> you. <Yay! laughs> and it's a good thing because I think we ran out of some stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Because, um, we ran out of all of the, um, easy table runner kits already, yeah. but we've already been talking record. about this and we're going to do one special box opening. Maybe what, maybe this coming Sunday. Yeah, maybe we're hoping we're going to do some where we a bunch have of kit a stuff. whole bunch of kits mm -hmm. that we've um, put together so that it's not just, Oh, this is the only kit you have to choose from or and whatever. It, and we have a lot of kits. If somebody were to Google or not Google, but I mean, search, search kits, maybe because sometimes you don't write kit in the description, right? Yeah. Sometimes I don't. So maybe you can, maybe they'll have a picture. It always depends. I don't ever just know something's hidden. Yeah. Or got entered in twice. If I entered it, it entered it in, and then Carolyn realized, oh hey, I need to enter this in, and it was already in. You yeah. know, it's not. It doesn't happen very often, but yeah, it just depends on if it's a kit that's been around for a while. 
Yeah. And I don't think there's a lot of kits that have been around for a, a while. No, I don't but, think so. But there are others. And we'll put together more of the Easy Table Runner. Um, maybe not that same colorway, because I think that most of that Reflections of Autumn is super gone. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, super gone. And we put this one up because... Let's put over so you can see the ribbon. ribbon. Yeah. Um, um, because I know that there is a fabric that's coming, and we have something that we're working on yes. with that. But um, this this is... Um, we don't have this as a separate pattern. It's actually <laughs> hidden in here. And our we have a friend who's actually working on some editing for us. And I feel like she sent me an email. Ooh. Sometimes if I start to read an email and then I don't click on red, I lose it. Mm. It goes in yes. another place. Anyway, she is, um, Anna Marie is um, going through all of our row sampler uh, series because mm -hmm. it's a series of 14. It's all on YouTube and we go through each one is um, a, a class that features a specific technique and a specific row. And at the end, we show you if you liked that row, you can make a whole quilt out of it. And I mm -hmm. think she's going through separating them all out so that we can find some of those um, extra projects a little yeah. bit easier. And this is one of them. So this is the ribbon border. And then if you liked doing this ribbon, and the ribbon can go um, opposite ways like this, or you can flip that around and they could go the same way. So you could do a couple things. You could also do it a little bit scrappier if you want to, but um, all sorts of things that you can do when you're laying it out. But if you have a fabric that you really want to show off, which in this case is this beautiful um, poinsettia. Which, Robin Pickens. Uh, maybe it's from her Splendid collection. I have a little bit of it left. So I'll link below the Splendid um, category. So if we have any, yeah. and you're dying for some too. Yes. Oh. Okay, so good. that's what that is, and yeah, it's this ribbon border that's kind of, you can see in the yeah. middle there, and... And we'll probably show it working on, we're hoping to have it done for a Sunday box opening. Yeah, so, so we'll show we you can, the other one. That yeah, we can show you the on. other ribbon one, and what's going And on. it looks very different. It's funny, the way that you so choose So different. Your, it's almost like when you look at like an attic window block, and um, the way that you choose your light, mm -hmm. medium, and your dark, and it'll look different. Same thing with your ribbons. You can put your colors in all sorts of different places yeah. so kind of fun all right anything else oh i don't think so i think we're good i think so all right we'll see you tonight bye bye thank you for watching our video we invite you to leave a comment hit the like button or better yet subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode you can also visit our instagram twitter facebook or pinterest pages or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.